Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Victor Bravo and I'm with Lithia Subaru of Fresno and I am going to make this video, I guess it's going to be the fourth part of the Outback 2020 uh, Subaru series. And this was from a request from a subscriber named Rick White. Um, he was having a hard time getting an idea of what the interiors look like of the Outbacks and what his options are and what trim levels. Uh, so what I basically wanted to do was come out, get in every one of the interiors and show you what they look like uh, on the inside so that way when you're going through your process figuring out if you want a base model a premium a limited or a touring what your interior options are so thanks for checking in and thanks for watching this video make sure you stay till the end like this video share it subscribe and leave a comment thank you so much for all of the sub subscribers and for the love let's get started okay so this is a limited so this is the ivory interior on a limited so now it has the black bolsters here on the side with the ivory stitching. And one thing that you're going to notice that I really love is the things that are ivory is what your skin is going to touch. And that's going to be light. So in the summertime, if you live in a hot climate, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to attract so much heat. Now, if you notice on the back of the seats, these are all black. The carpet's black. The kick panels are black. Everything that can easily get dirty is black. Dashboards are black because that causes the least amount of reflection onto the glass. And then of course, our headliners are tan as well. And this is the interior for the Limited. This is the black interior. Now this one has the lighter stitching. It also has the perforated leather for the holes to make it breathe, to help keep you cool. Armrest in the back. These are the back seats here. And this is the black interior on the driver's side. So these are the wheels to the Onyx XT. And it's a blacked out rim. 
blacked out side mirror. And then it's got a two-tone gray with a black insert with a neon green stitch. But I love the fact that Subaru didn't overdo it with the neon green stitching. See, there's, they still added a lighter stitch there. There's a black stitch there. There's a light gray stitch there. So it doesn't, it doesn't blast you in the face with neon green. It's just a subtle touch of it, and I love it. And of course, this is the multi-texture interior. So everything that your skin or your body would touch would be soft. With the piano black accent, the chrome handle, with this brushed aluminum here. It's gorgeous. This car is absolutely gorgeous. So if you did decide to go with the XT, I don't think you would be disappointed at all. Let me get it from the other side so there's no glare. And of course it has the light headliner. Blacked out bottoms. The back of the seat. So this is the wheel for the touring trim level. That's the pattern. And remember, brushed aluminum side mirrors, more chrome. The crossbars are chrome. And of course, the Napa brown leather. Last year's model, they were called Java Brown, Napa Brown. I absolutely love it. The light stitch, contrast to the dark. Carrying it down here to the black. And you guys, these chairs are so comfortable. If you hadn't had a chance to go to your local dealer and take one of these for a drive or sit in one, just the comfort is amazing. Here's the back seat. Again, black back. Armrest, cup holders. Don't forget these seats recline with this lever here. And this button up here folds them down. Rear back seat protectors. So, this is the trim level that Subaru created to pull the high end luxury consumer to our side. So, you'll see this color interior in the Lexuses, in the BMWs, in the Infinities, in the Mercedes. So if you're not used to it, that's what it is. And this is the premium light interior. This is the gray. 
and it has this carbon fiber like material here and this is soft touch and then this is also a black fabric soft touch material here with a piano black accent with a matte black here and that's also soft touch these are the cloth seats with the black bolster and if there's three things that Subaru knows guys is that their clientele their pet lovers their outdoorsy people and their family people so don't think like oh I can't get cloth interior because I need it to last a long time because my I have kids or I have dogs they've taken that into consideration our cloth material lasts a long time about four or five years ago I had taken in a 1980 something GL wagon and it was in great condition and it was in such good condition we put it in our showroom as a testament to how durable our cars are and this is the interior for the cloth seats and I don't currently have an Outback premium with a black interior so I am going to have to go into the showroom and give you an idea of what the black interior looks like on the showroom okay I'll be right back It turns out that I did have a black interior cloth in stock. So I got the stock number and I came back out so I could show you. And it's super soft, guys. This is the driver's seat. this is also soft to the touch here that's like what your knee or your leg would be resting on there that's the center console I hope this video will answer a lot of the questions that you had about the interiors and what they look like and what the carpets look like and everything else that comes on each trim level of the car. If you have any questions at all or if you have any comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking the videos and sharing them. Guys, these videos are reaching people all over the world and it's getting crazy uh, how many people are watching and you know subscribing from you know, countries that I never even thought of when I first started making these videos, like, you know, people in Japan and Australia and, you know, Singapore and even our Canadian brothers upstairs, our Mexican brothers downstairs. So it's getting out and uh, people are liking the video. So thank you so much for sharing them. The next video that we're going to be doing is a 2020 Subaru Forester. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And thank you so much. Bye, guys.